Hi, I'm Andrew Scaglione with Radio Cloud. Thank you so much for taking a little more time to learn about our 100% cloud-based automation, content management, and production platform. This video is meant to walk you through building broadcast clocks and the different levels of functionality we offer to make each clock as broad or custom and specific as necessary. So I have the Radio Cloud software open behind me. Let's turn to it and dive right in. You can access the platform from anywhere on any device at any time, as it's a cloud-based, browser-based system. Once you log on to the Radio Cloud software, click on the Broadcast Clocks module at the top of the page, and you'll notice that six menu items appear in the drop-down. For this video, we'll focus on two of those, Broadcast Clock and Clocks to Hours, and we'll start in the Broadcast Clock module. As I mentioned, the clocks you build can be as complex or simple as you choose. For example, this network has a mixture of music, jingles, and voice tracks for an overall simple clock, but they've elected to build a lot of clocks to use in various hours, day parts, and days. On the contrary, another Radio Cloud customer has only a handful of clocks, but includes up to 91 elements per hour, including news, weather, localizers, and of course, music and imaging. So no matter how complex or simple you make your clocks, the process of building each is quite easy. You click this green new button in the top right corner, which opens up the broadcast clock editor. On this page, you have your elements on the left side and the clock, which gets built on the right side. The center portion is to drag and drop the elements to actually build the clock. A little bit about each different type of element. Jingles allows you to choose from a jingle template, and we'll cover those in another video. But the broad strokes are that jingle templates allow you to create groups of jingles and imaging and set them to only run at certain times on certain days. Voice allows you to insert time and temperature checks and other local elements. Music is, of course, a placeholder for a song, as scheduled by your preferred music scheduling software, for example, Music Master or Selector. Hook is a very cool feature. It allows you to build in a promo that marries hooks of some popular songs upcoming in the next 30 minutes to an hour. Commercial Break is a placeholder for your local and or network breaks, and Radio Cloud interfaces with any existing traffic system to read the log and schedule the spots. Local content enables you to schedule things like local news or weather and even set rules. So let's say the local content doesn't get produced one morning and you have a music bed that typically opens or runs underneath the element. If this box right here is checked, Radio Cloud knows not to play the bed or jingle if that local content is missing. And a time event is another really cool feature of Radio Cloud. It allows you to select a certain time in the hour to start a specific element at, for example, 30 after. And you can choose a target time for a little more flexibility, one to two minutes on either side of that set time, or back timing to ensure a hard start at the time you pick. The system achieves this by pulling out a song or jingle if necessary to time out everything correctly. So that's a glimpse at how you build a broadcast clock with that easy drag and drop functionality. Once you build and save your clock or clocks, they'll appear back on this main page. Now, the true power of Radio Cloud is in the way we reinvented networking. You see this blue button on the top right of each clock that says localized? That means that network clock has been duplicated and altered slightly to run on many different stations around a region or country. So rather than build out 100 clocks for 100 stations, you build one network clock, duplicate it, and change a few minor things, which then sets every local affiliate apart. So here's an example of a network clock with six local affiliates running off the same infrastructure, but having different length commercial breaks and other local elements. So if we look at that clock in playlist form, you'll see the network structure on the left. And if we open up a local affiliate, you'll see a side-by-side -side comparison of the two clocks. The lines in the middle tie the similar elements together, and the further down the clock you go, the more spaced out those elements you get, as on the right side you begin to see more local voice tracks, inserts, and commercial breaks. For example, this playlist has the same first imaging piece, ideally a legal ID, and then the same first song, but here for the local element, 
They have a local piece of imaging, positioning statement, call letters, something along those lines, which then rolls right into the network track that all of the affiliates are getting. And as I said, the further down the clock you scroll, there's some more of these brown local elements, red and blue commercial breaks, brown local elements. So by the time you get to the bottom of the hour, the clock is really spaced out based on this network clock because the local clock is now stuffed full of localizers and commercial breaks. So with all that in mind, it's important to understand how your playlists are built and scheduled in Radio Cloud. Our platform reads your music and traffic log from whatever scheduling system you use, combines that with the clock structure, and then spits out a playlist that goes over the air. But what happens if you build four or five clocks to cycle throughout the week? Well, that's where this clocks to hours tab comes in handy. This shows you a grid of seven days per week across the top and 24 hours a day from the left side. Here you can click on a specific hour and choose one of your broadcast clocks to play in that hour, effectively structuring your entire week of broadcasts. And all you have to do for that is click on this pen button. All of your broadcast clocks will pull up. You can select the one you want to play in that specific hour on that specific day and hit save. And ultimately you can have 24 7 running the same clock in every hour or like this station does you can have a lot of different types of clocks running throughout the week for existing stations to change a certain clock in an hour like i said all you click is the pen icon on some of these hours you see static and on others you see floating if there's time sensitive content at the top of an hour you can set the slot as static so the system knows to hit the top of the hour on the dot if there's not time sensitive content, you can have Radio Cloud set to float a certain amount of time using this green gear icon in the top right corner. Say we're coming off the top of the seven o'clock hour. This client has it set to where the top of the hour can start anywhere from 60 seconds before to three minutes after for a four minute range of floating. It's also easy to copy clocks to different slots throughout the day using this teal copy button up in the top right corner next to the gear icon. And if you see on the far left, there's also a dedicated holiday column. And what that does is allows you to set which clocks are going to run in specific hours on specific holidays that you've set in Radio Cloud. And we'll get into holidays more in a separate video. But this clocks to hours page really enables you to build the structure of your station in one place and make changes on the fly if necessary. Between reading your existing music and traffic logs, allowing a drag and drop functionality to build broadcast clocks, and then scheduling those clocks to run in specific hours, our broadcast clock module is agile. And because our software is always developing, we wanna keep you posted with those latest developments. For more content and tips and tricks of how to use our platform, head over to our website, radio.cloud, and our social media channels. Thanks for tuning in.